Hello guys and welcome back. So uh, today I'm just doing a little uh, little video. This has been uh, taken from NAC4 which is Nilly's uh, Apartment Cup uh, which is a big tournament that's going off at the moment. I'll put a link in the description to Nilly's uh, channel and also for this uh, particular video uh, where I've, I've taken this footage from. So I was hoping to get the recorded game file uh, but I can't seem to find the game rack anywhere. Um, so I'm having to resort to uh, uh, pinching the footage, footage from uh, Nilly's channel. So hopefully there's not going to be any uh, copyright issues. <laughs> but I'll make sure I link everything in the channel. Do go and check out NAC4 uh, over at uh, Nilly's Twitch. Uh, we're in the final couple of days for that. So uh, I believe the final is tomorrow. So Sunday, the uh, whatever the date is on Sunday the 20th. There we go. So... Um, for those of you who may have seen, Jordan did a Morley rush in a, in a, in a big tournament, which was fantastic. Uh, it actually made my day, but it wasn't the best execution. And I'm going to, uh, this is very much a tongue in cheek video. Let me just add this is just for a laugh, but I'm going to show him or tell him where it went wrong. Okay. So, um, yeah, I do. I do understand the irony of a, a fourteen hundred pleb telling a pro player to play, but uh, I do definitely think the Morley rush is not really something you can apply with normal sort of meta strategies, if you like, or ways of thinking. It's a, a, a kind of a YOLO rush. You've got to kind of just dive in and just go for it. Really, um, don't be too concerned about um, your step lancers. You know, don't try and look after them too much. Don't be too precious with them. You've just got to dive in, kill units, kill villages, get out uh, when you've kind of run out of steam, basically. But uh, yeah, so we went for this morning rush. We're, we're at 23 pop, or 22 pop at the moment for Jordan. And it's going to be clicking up uh, very, very soon. Uh, do we have Loom coming in? Not see Loom coming in just yet. There we go. Loom's coming in. So once is uh, once Loom's in, is going to click up. Now, obviously, this tournament it starts off with a nine villager start as opposed to the normal three. So I don't know how much of an effect that has on the build. Uh, it could uh, potentially make it quite a bit worse, uh, make it a bit tighter maybe. But uh, you can see it's doing pretty much everything it needs to. He's even using a berry villager to make the barracks. Uh, so it looks as though he he may have checked out the build order. Um, which I find fantastic to be honest that a pro might have found one of my little builds but there you go so um not a huge amount happening at the moment Nikov uh going for a stable going for a, um, a barracks I'm not going to show the full game here I'm not going to do a full cast of it I'm just going to um go up to the point where the rush doesn't work so yeah it wasn't the best advert <laughs> for the Morley Rush but um, I say that it, you kind of have to change your way of thinking with this strategy uh, as a player uh, and not necessarily follow the usual conventions of um, you know being super precious about your units um, going forward as soon as you've got a couple of these Castellese units and trying to cause damage you've got to kind of bank them up now um, I'll talk about that a little bit more later but I did actually um, speak to survivalist uh, a few months ago and survivalist uh, gave this strategy a go on his stream and he kind of played it the same way jordan is doing um in terms of being well kind of just applying your usual way of thinking i'll put it that way but he wasn't over, survivalist wasn't impressed with the build he, he wasn't really impressed in the theory of it but he thought to give it a go anyway which uh, you know um fair plays to him um but at the moment, Jordan's doing everything right. He's sort of, you know, boxing off his, his villagers, doing what he should be, um, getting everything protected. Gone from market instead of a blacksmith. I can understand why he's done that, just because it will help you with, uh, you know, if you are under pressure, you can just sell some resources and uh, keep maintaining the production of those troops. Now, the step lancer build is perfect against a scout rush now we are we do have archers coming in um as well for nikov so this is going to be quite tricky i suppose once we've got archers but it is only one range archers step lancers should deal with those uh, pretty easily and uh, with this build yeah we can see 
is doing every, every, everything right is getting a uh, tower down on his gold now keep his gold protected because the way to counter this is to just take the, the mongol player off of gold so uh he's definitely doing that bit right got six on gold you only really need four with stat lancers but i suppose with uh, having six it just gives you that little bit of an extra boost um you can you know, buy and sell things if you need to now i think that met uh I was going to say it might have been a mistake, but I think that was forced because of the archer. So I think he had to come across from the berries over to the gold there. But this is where perhaps it starts to get a little bit complicated for him. And it's probably just because of the map, I don't know. But um, really, you want to be trying to get as good an eco split as you can now he's quite lucky that he's been able to go onto the gold there uh, so he can buy some food but we need to get that sort of villager split of five on gold 15 on uh, food really uh, to maintain step lancer production so uh nearly did give us a little bit of a shout out on stream actually so yeah do catch this game <laughs> uh do catch this game back and that's purely because that nearly is only aware of it because i was bragging in his discord when i went on my like 12 game winning streak uh with it uh so yeah quite 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 funny but we'll see jordan is doing the right thing at the moment is just banking up the step lines is getting them garrisoned in his uh in his stable but then he sends two forward and that was a mistake that was the main mistake that i picked up on here because with the step lancers if your enemy knows what's coming like he does now you can quickly just wall up and if you've only got two step lancers they're not going to do anything um so i always say in, in when i do do the morley rush or when i've um you know in my videos you need to have more step lancers and this is exactly what the survivalist did as soon as he got two he went forward tried attacking you've got to get your head away from that sort of way of thinking that that's what you should do that would be like meta play i suppose it's not a meta build uh, and certainly with step lancers um you need to get them masked up so he shouldn't have sent those lancers forward in my opinion should have just banked them up kept them garrisoned in his um town center cleared up that army at home and then come forward with six seven step lancers once you've got that many you can just punch through walls and if you've still been able to maintain constant production you you could probably just keep adding lancers maybe even more quickly than your lancers are going down so soon enough you'll get quite a good mass of them so yeah you should have wiped that army out four step lancers would have wrecked that no problem There we go. So he's starting to bring everything back. He's going to wipe out that army now. It's just a little bit too late in doing so, I think. And I think as well, um, we'll see in a minute, he goes and dives into the eco of, uh, see how easily it cleaned that army up? Now we've got a group of them together. Bank them up, kill them off at your base first, and then come forward. Don't send them forward first. Because once you've got a mass of them together, like I say, you can quite easily punch through the walls. I mean, how many villagers are there on that gold? Yes, there's a tower. Yes, it would cause you some issues. But we see Jordan's like got so much on gold, he could potentially have bought the armor upgrade. Doesn't have bloodlines either. Um, so that's another issue for him. Obviously, with this build, you want to be getting bloodlines on your way up. So already his lances aren't going to be as um as good as they should be but yeah it could have potentially there we go got the armor upgrade in but yeah definitely needed bloodlines and again he's come forward now we've got five lances again still not quite enough and i think this is the main mistake is going in for the main eco i think he could have gone for the other one um where all the gold is in my opinion i just think the the main eco is a little bit too enclosed yes he's got the tower there yes he could have jumped five villages in the tower it would have caused you quite a lot of damage 
but step lancers kill villagers so quickly Nikov could have lost I don't know is there about 10 you know 15 villagers there maybe obviously five of those would have been in the in the barracks uh, in the tower but yeah he could have wrecked there could have very easily punched through those palisades uh, and got in yes I suppose at pro level uh, Nikov may have just stuck some stone walls down behind there in which case you've got an issue but a you know, I mean, we can see how quickly Nikov's been able to wall up there because it's uh, it's quite difficult and it's just not got enough lancers. It's just not got enough lancers at this point to make this effective. Really, if we're doing this, you need to be having eight, nine lancers and, and just ripping down those houses um, and getting in. So the, the Morley Rush failed, but yeah, I think this is a combination of lack of bloodlines. Yes, it does have the... Um, Eco upgrades, he's got the uh, first armor upgrade as well, but it, it was just, he attacked too early, which is what Survivalist did when he tried it. Uh, you need to get five, six, seven uh, mass together and punch through the walls. So Survivalist, when, when I spoke to him, he said, well, at high level, you play, uh, the opponent will just get the walls down, um, wall up behind the palisades quickly enough. Uh, so you'll never get in and that's why i say um yes it's correct but that's why you need six or seven mass up six or seven then go forward and ordinarily on arabia i mean this might not even be the right map for for doing this to be honest but on arabia you'd be able to punch through the walls um before your, your villages the enemy villages can get there um so yeah that's it really in, in terms of where it went wrong um, wasn't playing YOLO enough. He went forward too early, and he didn't get bloodlines. Those those were the big things. And uh, I think as well he attacked the wrong part of the eco. But I'll put a link in the description for this video. Do check it out if you've not already watched this game. See you on the next one.